Hey, have you ever been in what I call freak out mode? Right? I mean, I think at some point we all have, right? There is something going on and there's a crisis and there may be an accident or blood or a cut or something. And right, we cut, ha! Ah, we start to freak out and we start to lose our mind. And uh, my, my granddaughter and I were walking the other day. We took a walk and we started talking about uh, staying uh, in the moment and not getting too excited and staying calm in a crisis situation. And she goes, I'm not very good at that. I, I kind of freak out. I'm like, yeah, I think, I think we all do unless we train ourselves to stay calm and to think logically and stay in the moment and, and, and think like, how is this best to be handled and not let our emotions get the best of us, right? We can go into freak out mode. And Jesus, uh, one time he's with his disciples and they jump in a boat and they're gonna go across the lake and uh, they start paddling out there, you know, and Jesus, whew, he's tired. He's been preaching all day. He's been out in the sun and he, and he takes a nap. He lays down in the boat and puts his head on the pillow and boom, he's zing it, right? And all of a sudden a storm comes up and it is a bad storm. And I, I can tell you, I know it's a bad storm because half of these guys are fishermen. They've been out on the sea in bad storms before and they don't freak out very often. Today, they were freaking out. They are terrified. They think they're going to die. And so they start screaming, Jesus, Jesus, wake up, right? Wake up, we are going to drown. Wake up. And Jesus is like, what? What's the matter? And he goes, why do you guys have such little faith? And he speaks and the storm stops. The winds stop, the waves stop, the boat is on a calm sea. And the disciples are like, wow, this guy has incredible power. We were in the middle of freak out, right? And all he had to do was say, still, be still. And everything stopped. Now, as we go through our lives and crisis happens, bad things happen, we can go into freak out mode and we can lose our minds and we can run around like our hair's on fire. Or we can turn to the one who stills the stormy seas, who stills storms in our lives, just like he did that day on the sea. You know, Jesus comes to us and he says, peace, take my peace. I offer you peace that the world cannot give you. Take my peace and don't be afraid. May we all be able to turn to Jesus in the midst of crisis and accept the peace that he can offer us. May God continue to pour out his grace, mercy, and blessings on each and every one of us until we get to meet again. Amen. Amen.